Hi and welcome back to Polar Ice Creamery and today we are going to start our series on sugars, the different types of sugar that you'll use in ice cream and how they will affect your recipe. So a lot of you have been asking for me to do some videos on this subject and sugars is quite a broad subject so we're going to do lots of short little episodes for this series and obviously the first and most obvious one to start with is sucrose. Sucrose is standard table sugar. If you were to go into any store and buy a bag of sugar, that is what you're buying, sucrose. It's a naturally occurring sugar found in various plants, fruits, vegetables, nuts, etc. It is also commercially produced from sugarcane and sugar beets. And in its basic standard form, sucrose has four calories per gram. So all sugar has a really important role in your ice cream. It adds the sweetness required, but also deals with freezing point depression. Without any sugar at all in your ice cream, you're gonna suffer with two major problems. One is it just won't have enough solids, so be very watery, and two, freezing point depression, so it will be solid as a rock. So when you combine those two things, you're gonna have watery ice cream with no internal solids, you're gonna end up with a frozen mess that just won't taste very good. In a standard homemade ice cream recipe, sucrose can account for, usually does, account for 100% of the added sugar. That excludes the lactose, which is also sugar, naturally found in the dairy. Historically, American style ice cream, so a hard churned ice cream, has anywhere between 13 and 20% sugar content. Gelato, on the other hand, has anywhere from 15 to 23% sugar content. Then your sherbets and low-fat ice creams generally have much higher sugar content, ordinarily to deal with the lack of solids and other essential ingredients that they use. In a basic form, if you're making homemade ice cream, if it's a little bit too hard when you take it out of the freezer, the most simple way to rectify that is to add a little bit more sugar and that will make it a little bit softer. That will increase the freezing point depression of your ice cream. As a side note, the more sugar you add into your ice cream, the less of the flavor is gonna come through. So not only will the dairy dull the flavor, the sugar will dull the flavor too. In the world of ice cream, we have acronyms. We have POD and PAC, P-O-D, P-A-C. These two things are your baseline sweetness or relative sweetness as it's commonly known and the freezing point depression number. Sucrose being the most common type of sugar starts off the whole variation for these numbers with a level of 100. So that's your baseline figure. Sucrose has 100 POD, 100 PAC. We will talk more about the pod and pack numbers as we go through this sugar series. There's a lot to learn with regards to sugar, so I will cover this in various different episodes. Well, that's it. A nice, easy start to the sugar series, sucrose. It's the sugar that pretty much everyone uses, not just for ice cream, just for everything. And you can make really, really top-notch ice cream just by using sucrose. You don't need to add all the other ones. But when you get into the scientific side of ice cream creation, that's when these other sugars are going to come into play. So next time we're going to talk about dextrose, which is another really common sugar, also called corn sugar in certain parts of the world. So if you're interested in that one, don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you next time.